A total of seven in the last 24 trading days has this asset been manipulated. We identified this using our proprietary algorithms, but it appears as though this manipulation was not able to hold the bulls back from pushing the asset back up to some recovery from its losses. Welcome back to the channel on this hump day Wednesday. This is Arca and let's dive into ticker symbol FNGR. Let's kill him. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and dive into ticker symbol FNGR. And what you're observing here is the manipulation chart. And yet again, another day of manipulation here. And the price capitulates, right? So please go ahead and notice that uh, throughout several time frames, you know, we were identifying this live. And uh, after I signed off, curiously enough, we got one more strike of manipulation. So I am like what the hell is it right i'm see i'm seeing this uh, strike of manipulation down here to be similar to the one that we faced right down here before the upside continuation as you can see it's already continuing right so price action ended up closing at an after hours value of 499 which is already at a critical resistance seeing that the five dollar mark is in fact a psychological uh component and it actually does instill some fear in the asset, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to the next chart here because this is that ascending channel that we've been looking at for quite some time. And to be, to be very honest with you, we're still using the regression line from our breakout point of this triangle, right? So if we just lined up, I mean, I guess if we line it up even more than, oh, oh my goodness, there it is, right? So here's the touch, touch. Here's a touch and the connection right over here, all the way down to this point right here, which is the 425 that we experienced, and then a massive bounce to the upside and uh, eventually reaching today a top side of about 526. It's very impressive that we are getting these top side targets, uh, you know, within the asset, right? So let's go ahead and see how hard this is actually pushing and how we can hold it and and whatever else, right? So take a look at this. Weekly time frame ascending channel. This is the newest formation we've actually identified. This is the upside that we're getting from that 425 bottom, aka the SMA 200, which was located at 442. We bounced right from that, and now we're getting a resistance of the weekly time frame EMA 21 at 503. Okay, so I want to say two critical things here. First of all, it would be a bullish statement from the from the FNGR asset to close above. Anywhere up, anywhere upside of this, uh, the bottom side of the channel, which is 456, okay? It would be best, and I mean, it would be incredible if the asset closed upside of the EMA 21 at 502. So anywhere upside of 502 and that 456 bottom, or uh, yeah, 456 bottom, that would be a big, big statement coming out of the FNGR asset, and it would certainly set us up for a continuation to the upside. Okay, team, but yeah, reacquiring the inside of this channel after failing it down here is a big deal already. Okay, so if you are curious, since we've been taking a look at the bottom side of this asset at 425, given today's price action, which moved up an entire dollar since the last time, since we started looking at it, that was a 23 spot, 64% increase from that bottom side. So whoever longed it from our zones of support, congratulations to you right because we definitely we definitely were able to identify those support bottoms and that is where we bounce from and this upside here has been pretty nice okay so of course anything can happen in the markets team anything at all five day time frame is at the resistance presently of the ema 21 but guess what the asset closed after hours at 499 499 which marks off the ema 21 a support level at 492 in case the price action comes back down Okay, team, so that is looking incredibly powerful for the asset. And right now, that 495 zone is presently a resistance that we've been talking about. So that was the $5 to 518. And of course, we ended up getting that resistance from 526 and came right back down. And we're right at the we're right at that support at that resistance yet again. Okay, team. So it's looking good. I will say that the 12-hour time frame RSI is prepping itself for an upside, seeing that we are entering the gravitational zone. So we're getting closer and closer for an upside pivot, okay? So hourly time frame also has to do something similar. The thing is, is that this hourly candle closure closed beneath the regression band of the uh, of the linear regression channel, which would introduce 
a downside here, okay? But I will say that we have the EMA 55 and the one fib located as uh, located down here as support, right? So let's just, let's just go ahead and put down these targets here because these may very well work as a support zone for us, okay? So if we if we start dropping here, actually we would have to readjust this target to about 485 and since the 482 is down here we have to adjust it to the present price action which would be an adjusted area of 480 okay so let's see 492 i get it it's up there it's a support too right but we have to take into consideration the geometrics as well okay so 480 485 with a concentrated or focused zone of 482 okay so we're just going to go ahead and put it down like that Okay, team, so these types of supports and these types of, uh, or this style is definitely something that you can learn with me on the ARC Masters course, which is going to be a 16-week mentorship program. The uh, Track 3 students just started last Saturday, so I can go ahead and get the new track started, but know for a fact that this is starting from the very beginning, team. I'm talking about from learning what a candle is in the first place all the way up to advanced topics and mathematical applications okay team just like i do for statistics okay so go ahead and get in touch with me if you would like to get enrolled as there are a few seats already taken arcmasters course at gmail.com okay team please go ahead and consider that and get in touch with me i'll pass you the disclaimer and the syllabus and all the pertinent information okay so now uh let's take a look at uh, what can we look at <clears throat> okay uh, buy daily chart is actually showing a little bit of a bearish formation here, which would introduce that downside, but we already see that downside coming in anyway. So the buy daily is kind of securing that potential for us to reach down to the targets of around 480 to 485 with a focus zone of 483 or 482, sorry. And that is given out as well by this, uh, buy daily time frame shooting star right up here, right? That would suggest a, uh, a little bit of a downside. Although I will say that this buy daily closed upside of the prior bar high. So that technically could be a validation or a continuation candle for an upside move. I'm just, you know, I got to give you both. Uh, I got to give you both probabilities here. Okay. So immediate short term time frame RSI. This is a 10 minute time frame with a massive upside pivot, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, gravitational zones right in here so that we know what we are observing. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and know that you have a gravitational zone 1% to 2%, I'm sorry, 2% up or down from any of these junctions. And uh, you can consider the bottom half of the RSI, the bearish control zone, the upper half, you can control, you can consider that the bullish control zone Inner workings are the weakness percentile and the outer workings are the bull strength percentile and the bear strength. Okay, so in this case, we have an upside pivot here and uh, we definitely use the gravitational zone from the bear weakness percentile for an upside thrust. 10 minute time frame should bleed into the 15 minute time frame with an upside. It's piercing just outside of the gravitational zone from the opposing side, which would uh, present a danger to the downside. But this may actually continue onwards, upwards. Okay, so 30 minute time frame already creating a bullish crossover as well uh, from the uh, SMA 14. It is within the gravitational zone of the, bull, of the bull weakness percentile. So it may get a slight pullback here to face the support of the SMA 14 represented by the pink line before a continuation to that upside. Okay, so now moving on to the buy hourly time frame, we do have a little bit of resistance here seeing that the SMA 14 is located right within that gravitational zone. So if we are facing a little bit of a pullback there on the buy hourly time frame, then what could that be? Well, I think that the asset could actually move in the immediate short term up to around the targets, I would say anywhere between 512 to 518. So let me go ahead and focus this range here to a 512 top. And the 518 being the uh, lesser probability top before coming back down and validating the $5 market support before continuing on to the upside. Okay, so that is of high probability here for uh, uh, for the price action to endure. Now, the four-hour time frame is suggesting an upside target. It is outside of the gravitational zone down here, so no danger presented there. Uh, to be fair here, the eight-hour time frame, although pivoted slightly to the downside, it is within the gravitational zone. We have the SMA14 pivot with an upside. So this may actually bounce to the upside using the using the thrust from the earlier time frames, seeing that the shorter the time frame, the stronger the push here in the earlier time frame will cascade into the next and this into the next and the larger into the larger. Right. If you're catching my drift. Right. So now take a look at the 12 hour time frame RSI. It is entering the gravitational zone right up in here, which could actually pressure price action to a continuation to the upside. I will feel more comfortable looking at 
the daily time frame, the three day and a five day in the coming days, because it looks like the shorter time frames are about to present a pretty bullish uh, outlook here for the asset. Okay, team. So keep your eyes peeled. Let's be sharp. We're going to go ahead and stream the first thing in the morning tomorrow, right? Usually coming on at about 6.45 to 7 a.m. So join me and join the team and we will go ahead and observe the markets and trade the markets together, okay, team? Please take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. I need you to do your own due diligence and everything would be absolutely cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well. A very, very good rest of your night. We'll catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios. Yeah.